I'm just writing more feedback stuff here. So, yeah, um, hopefully everyone is um, doing well. So remember after the course, or after we're done here, we will go to the learner Zoom and get feedback on how it was. And actually, if can we post that on the HackMD so anyone else who hasn't registered can see it? If so, can you send it to me by the other chat? Uh, let's see, were there any other notes, feedback? Maybe we can talk about what our um, mm, yeah. So we're we're sort of thinking one of our plans now would be to run this course once a year in the summer, and then in the winters run an advanced course that's more on workflows and how people actually use things, um, like examples of okay, here's three ways people use GPUs and let's see, or here's the way uh, one of us configures our shells and stuff like that. Mm. So that's our plan for the future. Yeah, like if you have or any, any like, um... Yeah, any any suggestions? What do you would like to hear, and what kind of things you left like you feel uncertain about? What kind of things, like like just put it out there, like write it out there. Like if if you feel like okay, like this is the thing I don't yet know about, and I would like to know about, like put it there so that we can then uh, try to in our future courses like discuss about it, because uh, yeah, like. Like Richard said about the uh, GPUs, they're not magic, but but they are really complicated, and uh, that that applies to many other mm -hmm. things. Because like in the end, many of these things are designed by designed by companies, designed by uh, like fields that are very much like engineering fields, and and through that they end up sometimes like like you have a lot of like standards and com com like. Mm -hmm. APIs and all kinds of like complications that that basically you have to learn about yeah. and and usually like it can get tiresome to learn about things and uh, yeah it's it's good idea to just like ask what what kind of problems you have what kind of things you would like to learn about then we can like uh, use our like what we have learned throughout our job uh, helping yeah. other people like to point you to to well, easier solutions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And your general thoughts on the live stream course idea <coughs> overall, like what kind of courses is this suitable for? What kinds is it not suitable for? Um, although in the future, if it had been easier to get rooms and we had prepared a bit more, our plan would have been to have a in-person room where you can go and watch the stream together. And then there's food and people there to help you live with your own computer. So, yeah, um, that could make things work a bit more. Okay, like that can sort of combine the uh, passive attendance with the active attendance. I agree with this more how to run your actual program. So mm. um, do you think we could simplify the real examples and do some at the beginning and then go back to the end and do them again? Mm. 
the thing is... yeah probably yeah like like one of the complications uh uh like with this is like in the past we had had few examples on how to run like a matlab program how to run an r program how to run a python program that were basically like okay you have the exact same slurm requirements you just switch which module you want to use and then you just like mm -hmm. launch it so uh, but but yeah it would be like it's like this course serves two purposes basically like we have have this uh, we need to like try to explain how the queue works like there's some things that are like inherent in the hpc system like the queue and and stuff like that that is like you won't encounter it outside of hpc system like when you're running mm -hmm. at your own laptop you don't encounter a queue so we need to explain it so that and it requires it has many of these subcategories so we need to like try to explain it and it's uh it's uh it uses a lot of time and it, and if we include some of the the actual program running there it can get messy like like we don't have the analogies we they don't uh, match anymore or we it we, it can get muddied but at the same time if we don't include uh, actual programs like the queue seems mm -hmm. too abstract so it's like this kind of like a how how do we um yeah balance the both sides of the equation i don't know like uh it's all, like maybe this time we went too abstract that might be like maybe mm -hmm. next time we do this maybe we yeah. can can try to figure out some examples that would would still represent the the like the q stuff and stuff like that but mm -hmm. at the same time uh would like scratch that yeah. each of seeing like actual programs being run yeah does anyone know of people who didn't attend the later days because they didn't like the course? Because maybe we have a biased example here. Because, of course, everyone who's answering now has been here the whole time. Mm. Yeah, we should have like this, uh, like when you uninstall a program, there's always like, why did you uninstall mm -hmm. it and choose a reason? We should have that on the course. Like, mm -hmm. Why did you leave the course? Did anyone who stayed the whole time not like the live stream and hack and D format? That's what I really am curious about. Really, I'm curious the people who didn't stay, did they not like the format? But should we? Yeah, yeah, definitely on the third day, we need to figure out better examples. Like that's, that's obvious to me, at least like, mm -hmm. it's, it's very hard to explain the yeah. concepts without, uh, without having some, some good examples, but maybe we should figure out a way to describe them. Yeah. Maybe we need to Google a bit like how, how other sites do it. Yeah. Hmm. Should we um, split bash basics? We have some bash basics course with the similar kind of. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I mean, so we're so this is a good point. So some of our courses use Zoom, so some do the live stream format, and the live stream format well. There's a lot of setup here in my apartment to make this work well. Um, I think it could be simpler, but basically the smaller courses don't do live stream yet. But I'm wondering if we should do fewer courses, but try to make them bigger. Mm. Yeah, it's it's this kind of like uh, like, this bash, bash thing is is a good example of like like some so, sometimes in this like like in order to use uh, use a m m machine like a, like Triton or this kind of a cluster, you need to first learn how to do a bash, and then you have to first learn how to use Linux, and then it's, it it creates this kind of like like mm -hmm. uh, like a barrier of entry that isn't nice like of course like uh, yeah. like of course it's it's uh, understandable that 
like because the systems are so complicated and these are the tools that make them manageable for us and for for people in general these are the tools that uh, have to be used but but at the same time like the training part or how to how to get to use these systems it's usually like yeah like you there's some like uh, hidden requests requests uh in the in this pipeline that like yeah. you don't know about and and that's not something we want to have <laughs> like want to be there yeah. like we would want to solve these kinds of problems so yeah yeah i, I think it would be prudent to probably have a like a big bash course of... also if you like these courses and you like this and you want to come work with us then um yeah we would like to in the autumn get some sort of junior assistant worker who can help with things like our courses and some basic Triton maintenance tasks, which would be a great way to start building your skills in these kinds of things. It would sort of be a different path from research, but still might be interesting for the right people and certainly compatible with a research career. Okay. Should we go should to... Should we go to the, yeah. the Zoom room? And... So... It was, uh, yeah, for my part at least, thanks for everybody for participating and, and asking great questions in the HackMD. Like, like, it really makes the course a lot more, like, it, a lot better for us and a lot better probably for you if if there's, like, a good rapport with the chat and, and yeah. we can actually, like... Uh, like answer questions that you have because like if we're just shouting into the internet like over here it, it doesn't mean that you get stuff done faster and better and if you're asking their questions it it really uh, makes a world of difference for the course itself yeah okay so i will get the zoom that we're going to for discussion and paste it in the twitch chat and also in hackmd and then we can um, talk to you there. OK, thank you, everyone, for being here, commenting on HackMD, talking with us, staying here until the end. At least I've enjoyed giving the course as stressful as it might be. So yeah, thanks, and see you next time. Bye. Bye.